everyone, this is Eric Dixman and welcome to my YouTube channel. Our lesson for today's video is about half angular identities and without further ado, let's begin. We have five formulas for half angular identities, one for sine function, one for cosine function, and three for tangent function. For sine function, Half angle identity is sine A over 2. Kaya sa tinawag ng half angle kasi we just divide the angle inside the sine function. Sine A over 2 is equal to plus or minus square root of 1 minus cosine A over 2. Cosine, cosine, for cosine function naman, cosine A over 2 is equal to plus or minus square root of 1 plus cosine A over 2. For tangent function, again, we have 3. First formula, tangent A over 2 is equal to plus or minus square root of 1 minus cosine A over 1 plus cosine A. Tangent A over 2 is equal to sine A over 1 plus cosine A. Tangent A over 2 again is equal to 1 minus cosine A over sine A. Kung mapapansin natin, bawat may radical natin, plus or minus yung nakalagay kasi dalawa nga yung roots niyan is either positive or Negative. For examples natin mamaya, titignan natin kung ano ba yung gagamitin natin kung positive ba or negative kapag dadating tayo sa ganung situation. So, this is all the formulas for half-angle identities. Para mas maintindihan natin, let's take example number 1. Example number 1. Determine the value of cosine 15 degrees using half-angle identity. From the known values, yung table na binigay sa atin nung previous, from previous lessons natin, uh, yung known values of Special angles and quadrantal angles, meron na mga value yun. Pero what if, ang given sa atin is cosine 15 degrees and we are asked to determine the exact value. So, by half angle identity, pwede natin isolve yung exact value ng cosine 15 degrees. Kaya lang, i-convert muna natin siya. Yung 15 degrees, pwede natin convert as 30 degrees over 2. So, 30 over 2 or 30 divided by 2 is equal to 15 pa din. So, let's, let's rewrite. Cosine 15 degrees is equal to cosine 30 degrees over 2. So, this is half angle na. By half angle identity ng cosine function, which is cosine A over 2, pwede natin isulit ito as plus or minus square root of 1 plus cosine A over 2. 2. Ibig sabihin, itong cosine 30 natin, this is uh, cosine 30 over 2 natin, gagamitin natin ang half angle identity at ang A natin is itong 30 degrees. So, let's rewrite. This is plus or minus 1 plus cosine 30 degrees cosine A over 2. So, eto na yung ating i-solve or i-simplify. Equals plus or minus 1 plus alam na natin agad yung value ng cosine 30 degrees from the table of known values of special angles and quadrantal angles and cosine 30 degrees is equal to square root of 3 over 2 all over 2. So, ayan. Then, we simplify again. This is equal to plus or minus 1 plus square root of 3 over 2. Kailangan natin ang LCD. And, ang LCD, of course, is 2. So, 2 divided by 1 here is 2 times 1, 2. 2 divided by 2, 1 times square root of 3. Square root of 3, and this is positive all over 2. And, hindi pa tapos. Square root of plus or minus ito. Ah, this is 2 plus square root of 3 lang. Hindi natin siya pwede pagsamahin kasi radical yung isa. Yung isa naman is a whole number. 2 plus square root of 3 over 2. Kukunin natin yung reciprocal nito. So, this is times 1 over 2. And dito na natin ilagay. This is equals 2 plus minus 2 plus square root of 3 over uh, 2 times 2 is 4. So, itong 2 plus square root of 3 sa 1 lang sa multiply Kaya, yan lang din siya. Pwede pa natin siyang isimplify. 
etong numerator natin, okay na yan. Pero itong denominator natin, pwede ba natin siyang simplify kasi square root of 4 pa yan. So, this is now square root of 2 plus square root of 3. Ayan. Over 2 na lang. So, this is cosine 15 degrees. Ito kasi, pwede pa natin isulat as ganyan. Pinag-separate natin yung radical, numerator, and denominator. At simplify natin yung denominator. And we have the final answer. Square root of 2, square root of two plus square root of 3 over 2. So, this is our final answer for example number 1. Example number 2. Determine again the exact value of the given function. Ang ating function is tangent. Tangent 11 pi over 12 using half angle identity. Again, ang gagawin natin is like the example number 1 lang. Kukunin natin yung equivalent nito kapag ka divided into 2 siya. So, 11 pi over 12. Rewrite natin. This is tangent 11 11 pi over 12. Ayan. Ang gagawin natin, nahatiin ulit natin siya, at saka natin na-apply ng half angle identity. So, this is tangent 11 pi over 6 na lang kasi dinivide nga natin, nga natin siya sa 2. And then, pwede na natin ngayon lagyan ng or pwede na natin lagyan ngayon ng or pwede nating apply ngayon ng half angle identity. So, by half angle identity of tangent function, uh, tatlong pwede natin gamitin. But, ang gagamitin na lang natin dito is yung isa, which is yung tangent a over 2 is equal to 1 minus cosine a sine a. So, tatlo yun pwede nyo gamitin, pero ang ginamit ko na lang is tangent a over 2 is equal to 1 minus cosine a over sine a. Depende po sa inyo. And another pointer, kapag ka i-divide natin ito, so, dapat palagi ang makakamap natin is special or quadrantal angle or yung meron ng value dun sa table. So, by half angle identity of tangent function, this is equal to 1 minus cosine 11 pi over 6 over sine 11 pi over 6. So, yung 11 pi over 6 na yan, meron na tayong exact value dyan again from the table. Para malaman natin, or kung hindi tayo sanay sa radians, mas sanay tayo sa degrees, i-convert na lang natin using the conversion factor from radians to degrees. And from the known values, 1 minus ang value ng cosine 11 pi over 6 is square root of 3 over 2 ng cosine 11 pi over 6. And ang value naman ng sine 11 pi over 6 is negative 1 half from the known values, from the table of the known values. So, we simplify. Pagsasamay natin ito, of course, we need the LCD and LCD nila ay 2. 2 divided by 1 is 2 times 1, 2, 2 divided by 2 is 1 times square root of 3 is square root of 3 and negative ito over negative 1 half and of course we need the reciprocal of the denominator and multiply natin siya sa numerator to simplify. Lagyan na natin dito 2 minus square root of 3 over 2 times reciprocal ng denominator na 2 over 1 and this is negative pa din. Makakancel natin ito. Makakancel natin ito. Ang matitira ay 2 minus square root of 3. Kaya lang meron pa negative dito. So, hindi natin pwedeng i-disregard dito. Ilalagay i-distribute natin dito sa dalawa na to. So, this is negative na negative 2 and this is positive square root of 3. And finally, Tangent 11 pi over 12 is equal to, ang una lang natin sulit is yung positive para mas maganda ayos, this is positive square root of 3 minus 2. So, this is our final answer for example number 2. Example number 3, verify the identity tangent theta is equal to cosecant 2 theta minus cotangent theta. So, in this problem, we will apply half-angle identities in verifying trigonometric identity. 
And ito ang ating given expression. This is tangent theta is equal to cosecant 2 theta minus 2 theta. So, in verifying identity, isang point dyan is, ang isisimplify natin ay yung mas complicated na side of the equation. But this time, itong tangent theta ang apply natin ng formula para maging match dito sa right side of the equation. But ang problema natin, sa left side of the equation, theta lang. Sa right side naman, 2 theta yung nakapaloob dun sa functions nila. Ang gagawin natin, uh, for example, we let A as ito, 2 theta. So, ang ilalagay natin of course dito, para theta pa din siya, is A over 2. Theta pa din siya. Ito ang ilalagay natin dito ngayon para may apply natin yung half angle identity. Ilagay na natin, this is tangent theta at or this is tangent A over 2 in terms of A na tayo is equal to, ang formula natin is 1 minus cosine A over sine A. Ito siya, nilagay natin dito, nilagay natin dito and dapat uh, we are verifying identity here. So, imamatch natin siya sa cosecant 2 theta minus cotangent 2 theta. So, 1 minus cosine A over sine A. Uh, we separate the numerators by the, den by the denominator sine A. Gawin natin it is 1 over sine A minus cosine A over sin A. And this is equal to cosecant 2 theta minus cotangent 2 theta. Paano sila magiging equal? Simplify pa natin. 1 over sin A from the reciprocal identity by reciprocal identity, lagay natin, ayan. 1 over sin A is equal to cosecant A. So this is cosecant a by reciprocal identity minus by quotient identity naman cosine A over sine A is equal to cotangent A. So this is by, by quotient identity equals cosecant 2 theta minus cotangent 2 theta. Meron nga tayong simple equation dito eto na yung 2 theta natin inequate muna natin siya as A. So, ilalagay na natin yung value ng A. This is cosecant. A is equal to 2 theta. 2 theta minus cotangent. A is equal to 2 theta again. And we have verified the identity. This is example number 3. Cosecant 2 theta minus cotangent 2 theta. This is the answer for example number 3.